Hey you guys, Phil here from FitPros. Do you feel like you make progress with your fat loss during the week, but undo all your progress at the weekend? Today I'm going to show you how you can easily structure your diet to lose fat while drinking at the weekend. Losing fat can be hard, but it's even harder when you have to give up all the foods you love and your social occasions. Here's my three easy steps to help you lose fat without giving up drinking. Your fat loss is dependent on you being in a little bit of a calorie deficit, which means you need to eat less than you expend. Think of this three-step process as damage control. We want to limit the damage you do on the weekend by controlling the calories you take in through drinking food. Step one is to delay breakfast. On the day you're drinking, start by pushing your first meal of the day forward by three to four hours. Your total fasted time from dinner the previous day to meal one or breakfast on drinking day should be anywhere between 12 to 16 hours. You probably do 12 hours already, so it's gonna be more manageable than you might think. Drink lots of water in that time and you'll be fine. You'll feel a little bit more alert and awake during that period as well. What we're doing here, guys, is along with the next step, we're creating a bank of calories that we can use later on to pay for drinks to make sure that you still drop body fat and achieve the results you're looking for. The next step is to further add to that bank of calories to pay for drink later on. We do this by eating meals with protein, greens and fats and no carbs. Two to three meals for the day should do you. The high protein content will keep you full and satisfied and the fibre in the green veg will break it down so you feel fuller for longer. Ladies, you need a palm of protein, which means if you have a look at your palm, something about that size of a lean protein, which would be things like chicken, turkey, lean beef, uh, lean beef would be 90% plus lean, fish, eggs, that sort of thing, lean protein. There's a few details in the description of the video too. So palm size of lean protein. You'll also need a fist size amount of green veg. You'll find this much harder without the greens, so do your best to try and get them in. So a normal meal would look like a turkey burger without the bun, maybe some spinach, kale, broccoli, and a thumb-sized piece of avocado. Guys, you'll need twice as much. So that's going to be two pounds of lean protein, two fists of green, two thumbs of fats. If you're a vegetarian, it's a little bit tougher, but you want to try and prioritize your highest protein greens and still get that thumb of fat if you're a woman or two thumbs of fat if you're a guy uh, per meal as well. If you don't know what the highest protein greens are, they're in the description below. The last step here is hangover food. And we all know we're gonna be hungover and we're gonna have different foods that we crave and we know that they're probably gonna be the type of foods that will take us away from our goals. So we wanna prepare our food for our hangover day. Remember that this three-step process is about damage control and you can do a lot of dominoes with the dominoes or whatever your sort of go-to hangover foods are. To make this process even easier, guys, I've included a free macro cookbook in the description below. Make sure you download that. It has amazing hangover free recipes and most importantly, the recipes have the calories and the macros listed for each one. To eliminate any doubts, I'll give you a calorie goal for hangover day. Hangover day, you want 12 calories per pound of body weight. If you're not sure how many pounds of body weight you have and you know what it is in kilos, there's a calculator in the description below and you can convert that over. If you want to do even better again, try and get one gram of protein per pound of body weight for the entire day. It's really easy to work out. The cookbook in the description has the calories and the macros for every recipe listed so you can just pick whatever suits you and whatever fits within your goals. Remember guys, doing any of these steps is better than doing nothing at all and feeling guilty the next day and feeling like we've undone all our hard work from during the week. Make sure you download the cookbook using the link below. Thanks guys.